what is up you guys welcome to another video if you are new which i feel like many of you probably are my name is shanice i am a mom of three little girls also a wife i'm a stay-at-home mom and homemaker i homeschool i content create i do all that stuff on this channel so if you're into any of that definitely stick around but in this video i'm going to be sharing what i got my three girls for Easter. Three girls ages five, four, and one. They all pretty much play with the same stuff. Like even my one-year-old, she's very advanced, I feel like, and she always plays with she's just she's just into the the older kid stuff so so i didn't even buy a lot of things for my girls when i buy things for an easter basket i like for them to be intentional practical something that they're actually going to use something that they probably have been needing i just if i'm being honest i don't i actually quite literally hate like the little toys that you know you find at the dollar store or in the target dollar section or I just, I, they become trash. Like they play with them for a second and they're over it, you know, and I don't like it entering my home, you know? So I like to make sure things are going to be kept. Things are gonna last long. And like I said, it probably is something that they have been needing anyway. Starting off with the baskets. Let's just, let's, I feel like I'm talking too much. <laughs> the baskets, I'm a thrifter, okay? I don't, buy brand new baskets i just don't i feel like the thrift store has the cutest baskets and also the best quality baskets for cheap i got these probably some years back and i recycled them i actually think i bought this maybe last year for easter i'm not sure but the kids don't remember you know so we're gonna use it again and then when i'm not using it for an easter basket i'm using it to harvest and collect my things from my garden you know these are the baskets i have i'm not even sure if i'm gonna need to use all three of these because i didn't get the girls a ton of things and i do want them to look filled so jade and seda my two oldest they may end up sharing a basket i'm not sure yet we'll we'll see but let's start with the things i got from target so i actually don't even shop at target a lot um because i don't really like target's prices if i'm being honest they are expensive they have so many cute things but they're just expensive so i'd much rather thrift or go to marshall's or you know anyways okay so first i got all three of my girls these little cups these are by pillow fort i'm sure they have these year round at target i like that they're stainless steel little tumblers with straws i always make my girls smoothies and they always spill somebody's always spilling something because things don't have lids and you know they're kids so i feel like these will be really good for them to have and then you know they're pink they like pink and I, they're cute i just thought these would be perfect and like i said all three of my girls are always having smoothies so i just felt like these would be the perfect little addition and yeah they're gonna be excited for those i'll end up leaking leaking <laughs> i'll end up linking everything in the description hopefully they still have everything available but yeah so moving on these super adorable rain jackets raincoats rain jacket whatever they're rock water resistant they have that like i don't know this just gives me like an old school feel just because they're like transparent or clear or whatever you want to call it like just it just reminds me of like when i was a kid super cute they have like little tulips all over it i'm typically not your color girly you know i like my neutrals but when it comes to like spring and outdoors and all that stuff like i just i like color i like color when we're outside okay but i got jade and seda a rain jacket i did not get gia one because they didn't have one in her size but i do eventually want to find her one because she's starting to get to that age where she's feeling left out and if she's not doing what the big kids are doing you know so so we're good and we're ready for the rain and we're ready to get outside even if it's pouring did i get this from target okay there's no target stuff I feel like this is going to be a very quick Easter basket haul, considering it's for three girls. There you go. I have nothing in their basket. <laughs> so I stumbled across these little... Oh my gosh. Something's coming out. Uh-oh. 
but I stumbled across these little like gardening seed pops you know to the eye they look like they'd be like some edible lollipop situation but they're not they're actually little flower seed kits not really a kit but it is just so easy to do because all you do is take off the wrapper and then you put this side into the soil and you wait for it to do its thing and then you have the stick here so you know exactly where you planted it and then you you know you let it grow so this one is wildflower hummingbird blend the blue one right here wildflower hummingbird blend hummingbird blend um and then this purple or pink is wildflower butterfly blend and then the yellow one is a wildflower bee blend and so i got each of them their own and I just think it'll be so cute once it does start growing. They're going to be so excited and feel like they did all the work themselves, you know. And so I just thought these were such a cute little addition in their baskets. And then I'm also a mom that doesn't like to like give a bunch of candy and sugar and sweets. Like I like for things to be more experience based and something they could learn from or you know so i just thought these were very very cute and the girls actually did think they were lollipops because they saw me when i grabbed them they probably forgot about them already why do i feel like i didn't buy anything you guys my goodness <laughs> this is gonna be a sad basket i don't know why i felt like i got more stuff let me look at my list because i made a list well geez it always seems like more when you look at the money that was spent okay um i think we're done with target okay so i got these socks from amazon very cute colors very very spring vibe i hope this is not too bright but um this one's like a turquoise white pink beige and gray so i'm gonna split these up there are five packs which is not ideal but we are going to split them up somehow and Put one in each of the girls baskets these are for the older two just you know they love socks they love they love anything apparel honestly whenever something new comes in this house whether it's underwear socks pants shirt skirt like they're excited so they're gonna love those new socks i always like to put a book in the girls easter baskets whether that's a spring sort of book or a biblical gospel Easter celebration book. This one, this is a board book. I got this for Gia, my one-year-old. This one is called The Gospel. On the back, it says each book in the Big Theology for Little Hearts series introduces a big idea from the Bible with concise definitions and engaging illustrations to help young minds gain a foundational understanding of God's word. And I love that because I feel like it's never too early to teach your child about the gospel so this one was very cute very simple illustrations talks about jesus and i just thought this one was really cute so this one's for gia board book because you know she would definitely want to rip up a regular book and then for the older two i only got one i do want to grab another book i just haven't figured out which book i want to get yet but this one i love i i don't know i don't know what it is but i love the little golden books like these are just you know they're just so old school and i like it i really like them um last year i got them the fuzzy duckling one i don't know if you guys could see it the fuzzy duckling one um and then this year the story of easter book um, my oldest Jade, she's five. She's starting to read so well. So I always want to incorporate a book into some gift. And I usually do that for like season changes or um, holidays or things like that, just to help them get acclimated to whatever's going on during that time period. Okay, next from Etsy. I ordered, I ordered two different things from Etsy, one of which has not arrived yet and I didn't want to keep waiting and procrastinating on this video. I wanted to hurry up and get the video. Easter's coming early this year, March 31st, you know? So I wanted to hurry up and get this up. So the Etsy shop that I got this from is called Whisker Works. I'm assuming it's a woodworking company. They had these super duper adorable wood crosses that the girls can sew or at least practice sewing. So it comes with a wooden cross along with 
some yarn. I chose this yarn. They had a lot of different options of color that you could choose from, but I just thought, you know, my girls would love this color combination. And then it comes with a kid-friendly needle. So this is just a really good activity that they can do once they get their Easter baskets and start weaving and learning kind of like the mechanics of sewing. I actually got a Love Every kit maybe a year ago with a kit that had like a little sewing learn it's just very similar to this very it's just like this and my girls actually really loved that one they were actually playing with it like a couple days ago so once i saw them playing with that i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and make that purchase and i got these so it actually came with five different ones it came with five different ones which is perfect because I can give three to each of my girls and then I have two nieces that I could also give to. Five was very perfect and I want to say it was like $25 so not bad at all. They could be little like party favors for like I don't know a child's party or something like these are just really really cute and then they have other designs they're not all crosses they have some other things last but not least also from etsy okay so i'll put a picture up on the screen since i don't have it with me right now but it's a, a cute little personalized jesus loves me sort of puzzle the personalization is me being able to put gia's name this is for my one-year-old gia so it's gonna say jesus loves gia um, and it's a puzzle that basically with images tells the story of easter so i thought that was very 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 adorable and i can't wait for it to come so i could see it and you know add that to her basket but that was only 25 dollars and and then it'll be something that we can keep for years down the line it could turn into decor or something you know for her room i'll probably throw in like some some little treats you know candy or whatever just to fill the basket up but yeah that's it very simple very minimal very intentional i think and yeah i know my girls you know they're gonna love it they they're gonna love it so yeah but that is all and like i said i'll link everything below if you're interested in any of these things thank you so much for watching this video i feel like this was a quick one i wasn't expecting it to be this quick um don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to see more definitely subscribe because we you know we post videos every week so thank you again for watching and i'll catch you in the next one